The long-awaited battle between Gohan and Goku finally ensues as we near ever so closer towards the Tournament of Power as Gohan battles against his father for the very first time in many years as Ultimate Gohan's powers are put to the test against Super Saiyan Blue in seeing where Gohan stands and if he could hold his own going into the Multiversal Tournament. What's going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome to my Dragon Ball Super Episode 90 review entitled See the Wall That Must Be Passed, Goku vs. Gohan going into next week's exciting episode episode of Dragon Ball Super episode 91 as we get ever so closer to the debut of the Tournament of Power as we are just about to begin with the audience finally having a glimpse as to what Ultimate Gohan can do against his father in his Ultimate Super Saiyan Blue form as we've been wondering for many years as to how Ultimate Gohan would do against Goku at this current state. So a quick plug before we begin in case you guys are not following me at Twitter be sure to go on ahead and head over to Unreal ENT Gaming on Twitter and hit that follow button that way you guys are always in the loop with all the latest Dragon Ball news information and content and don't forget to go on ahead and subscribe to the channel in case you guys are new for all the latest Dragon Ball reviews discussions mod battles and more tons of awesome content on the channel and if you guys want to go on ahead and keep up with all the latest content go on ahead and turn on notifications if you guys want to become a Super Saiyan God it greatly means a lot to me that you guys support the channel and I thank you guys for tuning into the video now Dragon Ball Super episode 90 displayed a very interesting showcase between father and son in displaying what goes Gohan can do against his father in his current form now. Now from the animation to the overall design and the way Goku and Gohan were structured in this episode I think was one for the history books because so far in Dragon Ball Super there's been about 90 plus episodes in not seeing Gohan do anything within the show and now that we finally have Goku and Gohan in a battle we finally get to find out exactly where Gohan stands next to his father and we start the episode off exactly where we left off with Piccolo and Gohan having to conversate as Piccolo made the claim that he has now finished training Gohan with Gohan now being able to train on his own and we see Gohan wearing the tracksuit now I know a lot of people aren't really fans of the tracksuit but we also see his gi on the floor he's meditating similar to how we saw in the Dragon Ball Super opening we saw Gohan meditating like this before but what's also interesting to see is how we pan to Goku Roshi and Ten Shinhan and they're all eating food until Gohan shows up and what's interesting about this is Gohan shows Shows up with Piccolo and Piccolo makes this face behind Gohan he's smiling and Gohan walks in in asking his father to train him because he wants to test his current powers and we see how Goku is very excited about this and I love the location setting of this battle because it looks like a giant mountain that's been leveled clean and we see how Ten Shinhan and Goku are preparing to battle against Piccolo and Gohan and all the way out in the distance we see how little Chaozu and Master Roshi are standing there and Roshi says that the rules are it's a two-on-two -two fight with the rules of the tournament of power so basically you're gonna have to throw your opponent out of the ring and we see how Ten Shinhan thinks that Goku is getting a little too into everything especially now that Goku is preparing to fight against Gohan and Ten Shinhan tells Goku don't be holding back and we see the ground beneath Gohan between Goku everything is beginning to shake the rocks are flying up in the air a very serious setting between Gohan and Goku especially Especially with Gohan because if you paid attention right in the beginning we see how Gohan rushes Goku and Gohan is pushing Goku back keep in mind every single time Goku was being attacked by Gohan every single blow that Gohan inflicted on Goku we saw the rocks beginning to break Gohan has improved tremendously and I love the overall serious style of Gohan because we see how there was even a certain point in time where Gohan managed to knock Goku down in which Gohan flies back down to Piccolo with Piccolo having to tell Gohan to focus more on Goku so they're obviously focusing more or less on him and we see how Piccolo and Gohan I think work very well as a team because as soon as Tian Shinhan he rushed towards Piccolo Gohan teleported in front of Tenshin and he punched him in the gut so Gohan definitely proved his worth in this episode even to the point where he was legitimately pushing back Tien and Goku but the overall battle between Goku and Gohan was so intense even to the point where Goku was fighting in base form and I love how Roshi even to a point managed to take off his glasses because as he's observing Gohan fight Goku Gohan had the advantage plenty of times he beat down base form Goku like it was nothing and even Tien was just absolutely surprised and stunned as to seeing the powers that Gohan had ultimately you know gotten from Piccolo and we see how he's trying to focus in on the tri-beam attack but he can't seem to focus on Gohan because the the battle between him and his father is so intense but then he notices 
Piccolo out in the distance, and Piccolo shows off this big blast attack that he used very similarly to the 23rd Budokai tournament back in Dragon Ball, which is pretty cool, but we have Tien using the Tri-Beam, and the minute we see Tien using the Tri-Beam, we see how Gohan deflected that, so Gohan and Piccolo are going to be such a force, because even to the point where Gohan, he hit Tien so hard across the head, he caused Tien to go through the dirt, and Goku even to a point after he saw that, he punched Gohan right in the face, catching him off guard, so again, the team of Gohan and Piccolo worked very well in comparison to Tien and Goku, and I'll be honest, I'm not really too big of a fan for Tien, because if you think about how he was in episode 89, if you just look at all the things he had done in this episode, Tien didn't really provide much help, especially every single time he tried to attack Piccolo, Gohan always came in the way and he actually, you know, managed to stop him, but Goku to a point was so excited about this battle, he managed to completely forget about Gohan, and Gohan having to, you know, cock back his punch and punching Goku directly, to even where Master Roshi, everyone was completely shocked by this, I love the overall serious nature of Gohan, but even while Gohan punched Goku, Goku had a hard time, and keep in mind, this was all prior to Gohan tapping into his ultimate power, because Goku at a point even realized how strong Goku has gotten, and Goku, you know, he toughs it out, because after Gohan punched him, he looked at Gohan, and he compliments Gohan and Piccolo for their amazing combination, for their amazing power, and Goku says, it looks like with just a little bit of training, you got the knack back into fighting, so you're actually tapping back into that same power that you once had before, and Gohan was very serious throughout all of this, because at a certain point, we see how Gohan wants to fight Goku one-on-one, -on -one with Goku having to say, let's do this, with Goku having to transform into a Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and at that very point, that's when things begin to get very heated between the two, in which I personally enjoyed, because as a fan, I've always wanted to see Ultimate Gohan at the time of Dragon Ball Z fight Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but even after all that, we see how Gowasu is sitting down by himself, and he's having trouble picking contestants for the tournament, and he doesn't want to make another bad decision with Zamasu. I'm, I'm guessing at this point, he must have regretted, you know, not disposing of Zamasu, because maybe he could have been a help to this, but actually, we see how Ramush, the god of destruction, arrives, and he tells Gowasu that he may be overthinking everything in the fact that they actually have fighters, and we see this one fighter. He looks like a Roman fighter. He looks like one of those Colosseum fighters, and we see how Gowasu, he's very pleased on the idea that Ramush has brought over a bunch of potentially strong fighters that all drink protein shakes, so right off the bat, I'm gonna make the assumption that Universe 10 is going to go down very poorly, because if these dudes have to rely on protein shakes in order to get stronger and stuff, it, it's kind of sad, but we see how Gowasu, as he's watching them drink protein shakes, he has like that smug look on his face, like, bruh, you can't be serious about this, but even after all of that, we go back and we see Goku and Gohan, they take some Sentu beans, and they're about to fight, now Master Roshi actually is very impressed by this, because Gohan says, don't leave anything behind, this is my current full power, Power, and we see how Goku from right there, he transforms into Super Saiyan 2, and he takes it up a notch against Gohan, so that's the thing about Goku and Gohan so far, is that Goku had to use Super Saiyan 2, which I personally enjoy, because they haven't really showcased Super Saiyan 2 or 3 as much, I think, in Dragon Ball Super, however, the minute we see Goku using Super Saiyan 2, Gohan begins to tap into his power, he begins to tap into the ultimate power, and from right there, that just goes to show that it is, in fact, a transformation, because Gohan begins to power up, and we see how he has the hair string coming down, and right there, he hasn't changed at all, but he unlocks his ultimate power, so Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Ultimate Gohan in what was a very intense battle, but you also can't deny Super Saiyan 2 Goku, because momentarily, there were times where we saw Super Saiyan 2 Goku being able to keep up with Gohan, but even as he was sending off all these beams and all these blasts, Gohan was deflecting everything, so for 90 episodes, think about this, right, for 90 episodes, we've gotten nothing from Gohan, and now, finally, this one episode, we see Gohan pretty much tank Goku's attacks, and even to the point where Goku had to use instant transmission to pretty much keep up with Gohan to a degree, because if it was not for the instant transmission, Go 
Goku, I think, would have had a more difficult time in fighting off Gohan. But even while Goku knocked Gohan into the dirt, he cocks back for the Kamehameha, which again, is a very powerful Kamehameha coming from Goku right now, especially after all the training he's done. And that just goes to show Goku's feats, because as Goku unleashes the Kamehameha, Gohan also unleashes the Kamehameha, in which Goku's, at Goku, to Goku's surprise, after they had their beam struggle, he teleports in front of Gohan, and he tells Gohan, use more of your power, use more of your power, to which Gohan actually does that, because as Goku is beginning to push back Gohan, we see how Gohan emits more and more power, because Goku is telling him, you have to keep on pushing, even to the point where Gohan turned the tides on Goku, so this was a back and forth thing, and I think after Gohan pretty much kicked Goku on the spine, that's when Goku realized, like, oh man, this is bad, and the entire battlefield was shaking, I loved this fight so much, even to the point where Vegeta felt what was going on from such a distance that he smiled. I thought that was such a good thing to happen because Vegeta knew that Gohan was fighting with his father. And at that very point, Ultimate Gohan rushes towards Super Saiyan Blue Goku as Goku transforms. Piccolo is worried because he tells Gohan, do it now, unleash your power. And Gohan cocks back his punch and he's about to hit Goku and Goku's coming at Gohan with such ferocity but by the end of it we see how Gohan punches Goku but it had no effect we see how Gohan punches Goku several times but Goku keeps turning it up until he uses Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken in which Goku was not holding back because after that it was over but even prior to that Gohan he was not fearful of his father because there was this really cool shot of Goku being up in the sky and he's waiting for his son and as soon as Gohan charges all the way up in the sky Goku's waiting for him they clash and we see this massive burst of energy that's literally shaking the entire planet even Vegeta's like what in the world is going on we see like this reddish bluish purplish haze and then after everything was said and done we see Gohan he is down for the count after that because as they exchanged blows we see them both pretty much separated from one another as they collided and then we see Gohan go down Goku proved to be too much for Gohan even in that form because once Goku punched him it pretty much sealed the deal because Gohan was coming down he pretty much you know slid right past his father's shoulders and he went crashing right down to the dirt so you can't really deny that because Gohan he had a fight Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku that's a feat in and of itself does Gohan have room for infinite potential of course he does because by the end of the episode Gohan is smiling Goku is smiling because he knows that his son did a, a phenomenal job in having to not only keep up with him momentarily but even having the you know the courage to stand up against Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken one of the most ferocious transformations I think within the show but we see how Goku picks Gohan as the universe 17 leader which solidifies Gohan's role even more because now Gohan is is the official team leader of universe number seven but post your comments down below what are your overall thoughts on ultimate gohan versus super saiyan blue goku what are your overall thoughts on the way this fight went down what are your overall thoughts on gohan having to keep up with goku momentarily and what are your overall thoughts going into next week's episode with the universes having to gather with frieza having to be recruited onto the team lots of mixed reactions as to what's going to be going down with that post your comments down below guys thank you all for watching tune back in for the breakdown review if you guys guys are Dragon Ball fans, don't forget to go on ahead and subscribe for more news, information, and updates in regards to Dragon Ball. If you guys cannot wait for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super episode, if you guys love Dragon Ball in general, be sure to go on ahead and show your support by leaving a like on the video. Tune back in for more. Again, I cannot wait to see how finally everything is starting to pick up. Business is starting to pick up as usual, as now we have the universes gather. We have Team Universe 7 having to get together for the first time. Vegeta is going to be going off to train in order Order to get stronger and now we have the resurrection of frieza once again as he's set to return post your comments down below guys thank you all for watching tune back in for the breakdown review and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below have a great night guys peace